Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all good and welcome to Current Affairs in Flux. It's been a long time we had a class and I am going to cover the previous news also in these videos so that we will not going to miss any of the news. Okay. Let's begin today's daily current affairs. March 1st we observe the zero discrimination day and every year it is observed as a zero discrimination day on 1st of march and the day aims to ensure right to equality inclusion and protection of all people without any discrimination in their laws and theme for this day is remove laws that harm create laws laws that empower where this day will highlights highlight the how people can become informed about and promote inclusion compassion peace and the movement for a charge here yeah, this day is first observed in the year 2014 on on the 1st of march next one march 1st to 7th we observe jan aushadi divas week here yeah, the theme for the jan uh, jan aushadi divas week is jan aushadi jan upayogi here yeah, this day is observed by the ministry of chemicals uh, ministry of chemical and fertilizers the uh, ministry of chemical and fertilizers and under, under manshik mandavya and this organize uh, and this ministry will organize this week and it uh, in the year 2022 we observe the fourth jan aushadi divas week and the government has set a target to increase the number of uh, pradhan mantri bhartiya jan aushadi kendrans to 10500 by the end of 2025 here the here the, the that is pm bjp uh here this is this day is observed to create awareness about the usages of generic medicines and the benefits of jan aushadi pariyojana which was launched by the ministry of chemicals and fertilizers in the year 2008 where by this all the every person can get the medicine uh, with a good quality uh, at the generic medicines next one um madabi puri buch named as the first woman of sebi here yeah, the puri buch who is a former icici banker has been appointed as the new uh, chair uh, sorry new chairman of sebi that is here yeah, the full form of sebi is securities and exchange board of india and she will be replacing ajay tyagi where she is the first she became the first woman chief of sebi and also the first non ias to head the regulatory body where she has also worked over 3 decade, decades of a, had an experience in the financial markets and was sebi whole time member next one delhi cabinet approved india's first e waste eco park yeah, the delhi cabinet has approved setting up india's first of its kind electronic waste eco park and this and this park will be uh, build up in about 20 acres of land in delhi which is an eco friendly park and that about if if we talk about this about if we talk about delhi every year uh, it produces a 2 lakh tons of e waste are thrown are thrown as a waste so this pa this park will recycle uh, refurbish and the dismantle e waste in a scientific and the safe way where it will also have precious metal extraction facilities also uh, uh, by by the high end technologies next one cochin airport will get the status as a power positive airport at the cochin international airport limited uh, is now uh, is commissioning with a new solar power plant and it will now get a status as a power positive airport from its current status of being a power neutral airport where it said to commission about 12 megawatt power solar power plants uh, near payanur in kerala in in kannur district in kerala here in the year 2015 the cochin airport has become the world's first airport to be fully powered by solar energy and now it it ha it will get the status of power positive airport from power neutral airport here the chief minister of kerala is pinarayi vijayan and the governor is arif mohammad khan next one nsc and bsc starts t plus 
stock settlement yeah the here yeah, the nsc and bsc are the national stock exchange and the bombay stock exchange and now the india became the second country after china to implement the t plus 1 stock settlement mechanism in a phased manner where previously it has uh, previously the settlement period of the stocks in india was t plus 2 days that is the trading day and the plus after the 2 days the stocks will be settled and it will be shown in the demat account of holdings and now from now onwards uh, it will be showed after uh, after the trading uh, after the after the trading day itself which which means if you buy the stocks today that is on the trading day the next trading day it will be shown in the in our holdings and the first uh, and the first yeah, and if you see about it only the 500 st- uh, only the 100 stocks which is based on the uh, market capitalization are are uh, selected to include in the, in this t plus t plus 1 uh, stock settlement day whereas uh, and the remaining stocks uh, a, and the remaining stocks will be introduced uh, 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 as a monthly a monthly basis every every month on the last friday the 500 stocks are going to be added in this t plus 1 uh, stock settlement uh, next one So if you see here, the MD and CEO of uh, NSC is Vik- Vikram Limaye, and the MD and CEO of BSC is Ashish Chauhan. Uh, recently, uh, in the previous news, we have seen that the chairman of SEBI, uh, that is Ajay Tagi, is replacing uh, by uh, Puri Butch, Madhubai Puri Butch, who is a former ICIC banker. Now she is appointed as a uh, new chairman of SEBI, that is Security and Exchange Board of India. next one new development bank that is ndb will become first multi multilateral agency to open office in gift city here the ndb will become the first multilateral agency uh, to open an office in the gift city that is uh, gujarat international finance technol uh, tech city and it has received the approval f- uh, for the same and will open the office in the may 2022 with the india indian office will help identify uh, identify the suitable projects and try to create a pipeline of potential financing for the bank where this ndb was set up by the brics brics countries that is uh, the brazil russia india china and the south africa these are the five brics countries and this bank is set up by the uh, brics countries itself to object uh, of mobilizing resources for infrastructure and sustainable sustainable development projects in the brics countries where ndb are also expect to partner with the newly launched national bank for financing infrastructure and development uh, to support crucial infrastructure projects in india here if you see the president of ndb is marcos prado trojo and it is headquartered at shanghai china which is founded in the year 2014 next one nso projects uh, gdp growth for india in 2021 22 would be at 8.9 percentage and if you see that nso has earlier it was estimated about 9.2 percentage and it is downgraded the gdp growth of india for the year 2021 and 22 from 9.2 percentage to 8.9 percentage next one puja uh, puja jatyan jatyan became first indian to win a sil- silver in para Ar- archery world champions here the pooja jatyan who is a para archet archer has scripted history as she became the first indian to win a silver in an uh, in an individual section of para world championship which is, which held at dubai uae where in this in this in this championships the india has won two silver medals for the first time in the para archery world champion championship next one rafael nadal defeated uh, cameron nori to win mexican open 2022 yeah the rafael nadal who is a tennis player from who represents spain has beat british number 1 uh, cameron nori to win the single titles of mexican open 2022 and this is the 91st atp title of his career, career and the third title of the season whereas uh, this is 
uh, whereas this is the fourth time that Rafael Nadal has won the Mexican Open title after winning the uh, three titles in in the year 2005, 13, and 2020. Next one. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe and stay strong.